think people kind of forget that we have like the absolutely tiny creeks like this that we're just kind of just chucking it down the side of a mountain, but I mean, there's not a house on this for a couple miles. Swapping out the chubby for a nice uh, tiny little dry fly. Gonna try a new approach working back up this stream. Kind of getting this far back, I mean, we see like, they're not dumb fish, but they're on pressure. And I mean, it, it can just be a blast when they're here. All right, before we get into this video, I've got to share a quick announcement with you guys. As you may know, one of the biggest ways that y'all have helped support the channel and support these videos is through our merchandise and our apparel line. And today we've got our summer collection. It's dropping today by the time you guys are watching this video. I've been waiting for these hats since like March. So I'm, I'm, I'm really excited. We've got a bunch of new hats here that just dropped. Whole bunch of them. We got like six new hats. And these are all dry fit nylon performance hats. These are super sick. This will be perfect for the summer, for the rest of the summer. We've also got this one. You guys know we've been doing a bunch of bass stuff recently. So we had to drop a little bit of bass gear for you. Brand new bass tee. Let's see what we got here. We got these lightweight hoodies. Their new topo design. So our gear is out. You guys can go check that out. Again, this has been super, super fun growing this brand and seeing you guys rep the gear and just tag me and stuff. It's, it's really honestly surreal. These things are freaking sick. Go check them out. Link below. All right, let's get into the video. Welcome back guys, uh, here I am in my refrigerator because I am in Charlotte and it is like 90 degrees right now. The humidity is just ridiculous and uh, it's like the only cold spot in my garage. But I, uh, I just released the, the Backyard Bronze series. All three episodes are out. I just finished editing all those. So I've been like stuck inside here in Charlotte for like three, four weeks. And uh, yeah, I just, I've, I've been needing to make uh, a trip to the mountains. You guys have been following along for a while now. You know that I went to school in Boone, North Carolina, up in the mountains, and I just recently moved back home here to Charlotte until I relocate again. So it's kind of weird not being in Boone anymore, not living in the mountains, and I definitely miss the convenience of driving 10 minutes to any trout stream. So since I'm finally done editing, finally have a break, uh, making a trip, going up to the mountains, gonna meet up with two of my buddies, Shane and Paco, who are both guides at Due South Outfitters. They've got a little bit of time off this week to, to do some fishing, so in between trips and working the shop, we're gonna go do a little bit of fishing the next couple days. So now, just need to pack all my gear, get it loaded in the car, and uh, head to Boone. Got to the shop. We got Paco and Shane here. Last time you guys uh, saw Shane in here, he, he broke two of my rods. So. <laughs> we just lost two more rods. <laughs> I'm not taking blame. My rod's rigged up on the side, right? Two rods in the door jam. Like, I don't care. Set your rod somewhere else. I don't even feel bad at this point. Dude. <laughs> Shane had a trip this morning. Paco worked the shop. So we got a couple hours now uh, before it gets dark. We're going to do some fishing. Um, try a new section. Yeah, dude, I'm excited. Do a little bit of hiking in and uh, should be sweet. All right, we just got to our first spot here. And uh, typically, this time of year in the summer, we're kind of exploring some of the tributaries, but today we're actually 
Figure we try one of the main stretches of the river, which we haven't really checked out. We've always just fished the tributaries, so it would make sense if, if there's good fish in some of these tributaries that there's going to be uh, good fish here. So we're trying to find some of the deeper runs in the shady spots, which I think is where we're going to be finding them. Did you get a good look at him? Yeah, it was a stalker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that left side looks kind of sweet. That might actually be like maybe two feet deep. There's definitely some like bigger rocks and stuff up there. That's a good thing is like when they're eating primarily dry flies, they're always start like looking up. So yeah. they'll see your flies no matter what. Right, right. Oh, was that bite? You don't know. <laughs> so we're covering a good bit of water today. It's kind of the goal. So this stretch goes basically riffle to flat, to riffle to flat, riffle to flat. So we're kind of walking through a lot of the flat water, but now we're in this kind of woodsy section away from all the farms and uh, it's starting to look real good. There's, there has to be one in this upper section up here. Like absolutely. That's a good trout there, boys. Looks like a brown. It's a good brown. Oh, good colors on it. Woo! Sheesh. Trout? Yeah. Dude. Beautiful hook set. Damn. <laughs> this is all just so flat. I don't like even know what run to be hitting. Fishing's been tough today, but I mean, this is new water for us. Me and Shane have been trying to figure this river out for a while now. This is a new section for us though. So far, this has been pretty shallow and unforgiving. Even with tough fishing though, I mean, it happens in the summer, the fishing gets really tough. Kind of, we run out of options. We can't just hit the same stuff every day. So we're gonna keep moving up, look for some faster water, but we got a ways to cover. Go show us how it's done, dude. There it is. <laughs> Dude! Let's go. Well fed too. <laughs> I can even try that right side. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's on the high fly, middle fly. Hooked it into another nice, beautiful little brown. Oh! This hole is wow. cracking. like an orca pod right now. They're all communicating. Congrats, you've hiked three miles, and now you can uh, start catching some trout. It'll be worth it once I snag a fish right here. Watch this. Dude, I thought that was it. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Got a nice brown. There it is. Dude, that's good fish. 
Is he giving it to you, Paco? Hey, dude, he's gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> Took off, dude. Hello. Hey. Hi. Are you close to your car? Uh, I'm inside, but I can go to my car. Okay, because I forgot my keys in Shane's car, and we're hiking to my car, and I don't have my keys. <laughs> so we, we, I was going to see if you could maybe pick us up on the side of the river. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Thanks, bro. You you the man. All right, peace. Little Hold brother on. hooked it up. Fortunately, we're not <laughs> out of service somewhere because I forgot the keys back in Shane's car. <laughs> that was gonna be our ride back to Shane's car, and uh, yeah. Well, good thing we figured that out now. <laughs> Saving the day, baby. Let's go. All right. Good morning. Today is day two. And it's a beautiful day out. It is Bluebird Sky Day. Uh, the weather report earlier in the week said it was supposed to rain today and tomorrow, but it does not look like it's gonna rain today. Yesterday, we got to fish a stretch that all of us have kind of had our eyes on for a while, have looked at on Google Maps, and just have been curious about fishing it. But today, we're gonna kind of switch gears, and we're gonna go fish a different stream that has a little bit more elevation gain. It's a little higher in elevation, and there's gonna be hopefully a little bit more water moving through it. Shane has a trip, he's on a trip right now actually, and he's finishing up pretty soon. So he's got a trip, and then Paco has orientation for App State. So we are meeting at the shop at one, and then we are gonna go fish the rest of the afternoon. So it should be should be pretty fun. Hoping for some good dry fly fishing, that's, that's the goal. It's summertime, gotta throw some dries. So looking forward to that, and we'll see you guys there. There he is. Pucka, how was orientation? Uh, officially going to app. <laughs> Feeling good, but not good because I missed it already one time. I got chewed out by my advisor. <laughs> but That's okay. Time to done. fish. Yeah, time to fish. This couldn't be more different than what we did yesterday. I mean, this is steep and like steep and cold, whereas yesterday we were kind of freezing through some really shallow, pretty fishless water. All of this, like little pockets and stuff like this. I mean, there's, there's fish through them. It's just cold. I mean, these fish are super happy. Um, I think there's some of the cool fish in town. No nine foot rods today. This is not as small as it gets, but definitely not huge. I mean, this whole river is probably gonna be about five feet wide today, so light, short, soft rods so we don't bounce fish. There's this little kind of cut where it's just washed away, right over that little edge where Shane's standing. I mean, it's literally like six feet of water, maybe six inches deep, but people come up and get chubby so fast. Good. That's, That's what we need. He didn't eat it. He didn't eat it, I promise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that right there. Just sneak all the way left. And that rock's slick, but you can just like walk all the way out and across it on it. That's a, that's good, right? I mean, that's a good cast. You ever seen the sniper rifle? Damn it! <laughs> that's not working, is it? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, shoot. A little brown. Like, 
I think people kind of forget that we have like the absolutely tiny creeks like this that we're just kind of just chucking it down the side of a mountain. But I mean, there's not a house on this for a couple miles. A lot of these creeks in North Carolina are like ditches off the side of the road that don't look like anything. But once you get back in here a little bit, they open up and there's just like incredible water back here. Kind of getting this far back, I mean, we see like, they're not dumb fish, but they're unpressured. And I mean, it can just be a blast when they're here. Swapping out the chubby for a nice uh, tiny little dry fly. I'm gonna try a new approach working back up this stream. I just took about a 10 minute power nap on the side of the river. So you're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go, man. <laughs> Beautiful fish. That was textbook, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude. Yeah, dude. That's a sick fish. Beautiful colors on it. Oh, dude, he ate it in the toilet bowl. There he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. It was just like spinning. Oh my gosh. All right, should we go next spot? Oh, damn. There it is. Oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me? That was a solid fish. Come on, Scotty. What are you doing? Dude, I mean, the fish have done some modifications to my stimulator. It's now rocking two legs. <laughs> Dude, that's a cool fish. Solid. I don't know where it is. Ooh! Dude, I couldn't see it and I missed one. Oh yeah! That's a good one too, baby! That's so small right there. <laughs> Let's go. Go on, Dan. Last fish of the day. You can, I literally, you can't even see at this point. There we go. I need a different angle. I can't even see it with the glare. That's the biggest one yet. Holy sh! <laughs> Can you see this guy or no? Yeah. That was such a nice. <laughs> Damn it, man. If that's how my day ends, I'll be okay, but ooh. All right, guys, so last morning, we just stopped through Bojangles. There's no better way to start the day. So we got a little Bojangles. Shane actually has a trip this morning, so he couldn't join us, but Paco and I have a few hours. We're gonna go fish. And after yesterday, we kind of realized that we should not be fishing in the middle of the day. It's way too hot. So we wanted to get up early, get on the water before it gets too warm. And uh, I think that might be the one today. That didn't take long. Mm -mm. Dude, that's a chunky little bit. Sweet. Uh, 
Nice. That's a better fish. Yes, got it. Oh, shit. Nice fish, man. Good, though. Nice, Dude, he's giving it to you. Hell yeah, he's biting. Yeah. Woo! How did that? Let's go. Sir, check this guy out. I'm serious, like, like my chubby just like, I don't know what happened, but I just kind of like raised my rod and it went like that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Yeah, and I bet if you snuck up that right side, you could be pretty careful about it and kind of come down on them almost if you had to. Oh. Oh. You ate the chubby. Yeah. Oh, dude. Chubby. Another chubby, yeah. Did he hit so quick that last one? Oh! That guy swiped at the dry. Scotty's had a bunch of fish kind of half commit but smack a chubby. So we're just going to size down a little bit, toss on that stimulator, and hopefully get those fish to eat it. We've got, I think, three or four rising fish kind of all in line with this branch. There's one that's been sitting under it that seems to be kind of in a groove. He's come up maybe three or four times since we've been standing here. Gonna try and see if we can sneak up this bank. We just got, there he is. Dude, I've seen like four since I've been talking. <laughs> yeah, that, there was a good size to eat right off that bank, yeah. Really don't want to line any of these guys, but they're kind of all over the place. Wow. Definitely didn't hook him. That's so close, but I know what you're talking about. I'm still a foot off. Oh! That was such like a bassy eat. Okay, yeah, that was so cool. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, stimulator, baby. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for the stimulator to disappear, and that's gonna be the ticket. There it is. Gee, about time, dude. Oh, good brown. Stimmy. <laughs> I love it, dude. Here he goes. Oh, dude, that was sick. <laughs> Bull guy. <laughs> this is why you don't fish Power Flex. It's been sitting in your car for probably three years. No, not there. Just twist it up. Last hole of the day, probably. Might be able to sneak up around the corner, but I gotta get back to the shop. I'm gonna try and get at least one more dry fly eater, but we've seen a couple right in that current under that cut tree. Yeah, this is pretty shallow. I'm gonna try and fish just this back edge. Oh, nice fish. That was a really nice fish. That was so sick. There it is. Dude. No.
So yeah, an un unexpected turn of events, our Bluebird Day went to a pretty solid rain shower, but still gonna try for one more. I don't think we'd be fly fishermen if we didn't. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> In the rain. Can I try for one more? No, dude. <laughs> Bro, like. That was a terrible hook set, I will say. <laughs> Chubby eats in the rain, though. Well, the bows are eating the bug. Damn, dude. Yeah, this might get interesting. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Uh-oh, if you hear, dude, look at the rain just picked up. Yeah, no, it's picking up. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right, we made it. We made it back to the car. We're a little soaked, but that is okay. That is gonna conclude our couple days here, hanging out with the boys, doing a little bit of fishing. I get to go head back to Charlotte in the freaking heat. I'm so excited to get to edit this video. But big shout out to these boys at Due South for, uh, for coming and hanging out and uh, doing a little bit of fishing. And if any of you guys ever roll through the Boone area, make sure to stop by the shop say what's up there is so much cool water around Boone and we didn't even scratch the surface of like what is available so if you guys ever want to come fish with these guys book a trip or something and you really want to learn about the area um, can't recommend it enough so hit the boys up and we'll see you guys in the next one